Matt, what would you buy from Newegg now? Well, even though the box says it's from Newegg, it's not exactly from Newegg. Timu. Oh, wait, wrong label. Timu. You heard us right. Timu Gaming Laptop is here, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna open it up and find out exactly what it's all about after we're from today's sponsor. Attention PC builders. Do you wanna save money on your Windows activation? Well, today's video sponsor, GVG Mall, has you covered an awesome online marketplace with game keys and also Windows licenses. It's awesome how easy it is to activate Windows. You literally just buy a key on GVG Mall using code TB20 to get a really good discount. And from there, you literally copy and paste the key into Windows Windows and boom, you now have an activated version of Windows. You can get Windows 10, Windows 11, and a bunch of other different keys at GVG Mall. And be sure to use code TB20 on checkout to save money on a Windows 10, Windows 11, or any other key from GVG Mall. Big thanks again to GVG Mall for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get into it, shall we? Well, we were really confused when our new egg box showed up and it wasn't supposed to be new egg. I kind of had a suspicion that this could happen, not specifically from new egg, but this laptop that we did get from Timu for actually a pretty good price with an RTX 3050 and a pretty decent i5 <laughs> processor is a brand that is sold primarily on Newegg. And it says uh, it's Hussey and the product is laptop. There's a laptop in this thing, believe it or not, guys. Did you know it's a laptop, guys? But yeah, the reason I bought this is obviously with Timu content, we always gotta check Timu and see if we're close to the holy arc of being able to build a gaming PC fully from Timu. But when we saw a real gaming laptop pop up, and I'm trying to pull the spec, guys, but it's asking me for security verification. Oh, I missed the puzzle piece, oh God. But yeah, the price of this laptop is actually pretty competitive. It's at $587 <laughs> and I see why now. Enjoy with me. Mm. They really went very very basic with the branding here. But it does feature an RTX 3050 and an i5 12450H, 15.6 inch display. I believe it's high refresh rate. Yeah, it's a 144 hertz, 16 gigs of DDR4 memory. The specs are actually good. This isn't something that we overpaid for, surprisingly. Well, we'll have to find out about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We don't know yet. I'm scared about the uh, the box branding a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so the inside of the laptop looks pretty standard. What kind of power brick do we get? Oh, it's a chickeny. It's actually a name brand power brick and it is a 150 watt. Okay. I would hope there's something pretty high end in there or a little bit higher end if it's gonna have a 150 watt power brick. Laptop user manual. I just like just all the different languages. It looks crazy. Has anyone seen these hasty laptops before? I'm I've never curious. heard of them. I'm wondering if it's just a general OEM where they're just like not providing for like, let's say gigabyte. They're just making their own. This looks, this it looks actually gamer. Has, yeah, I mean, it has some branding on it. I mean, you see that that logo is actually on there. We got this, what, what even, Alienware question mark? Is it Alienware? Yeah, that was not a smooth peel. Oh. I'm so sorry, I guess. Oh, he, oh. Took, he took the slide <laughs> peel off. Sorry, I guess I had to see that. Yeah, we have some like Alienware gaming marks, it looks like. Ports yeah. on the back. Ooh. <laughs> We're killing it, guys. Timu is here. <laughs> They're here to stay. All right, we got to go over the port. So on the right side of the laptop, we have a USB 3.2. We have an Ethernet jack that is full size on the back. We have a USB Type-C, a DC power jack, some type of display port. Just kidding, it's mini. We have a full size HDMI, so two monitors out. On the left side of the laptop, we have a Kingsington lock. We have a USB 3.2, a USB 2.0, a microphone jack, and a headphone jack. But yeah, so far it's looking like a gaming laptop. It looks very traditional to some of the other budget gaming laptops we've taken a look at. What are some of these stickers? We got Sound Blaster Audio. I haven't seen that in a while. Cinema. And we got <laughs> RTX NVIDIA graphics card, so it could be the 3050 we thought it was, and the i5 12450H, which this thing might be dead dead. I think it's dead dead. It's dead dead. It oh no. From, it came from faraway lands. <laughs> it came from faraway lands. Probably a new egg warehouse in California. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, we've noticed that a lot with Team Really, they're just trying to get sellers on there. And this company was just like, you know what? We already have all our inventory with Newegg. We can just drop ship it from Newegg and just have another audience to sell to. I don't know how many people are actually buying gaming laptops on Timu. <laughs> we might be the only ones. It does say 12 have sold. So, okay. you know what? That's that's not bad. And we're one of them. Oh, Let's there see. we go. We got oh, backlight. Ooh, we have like a kind of purplish blue backlight. And I got to say, I like the feeling of Over green now. Oh, it's RGB. Oh, let's freaking go. <gasps> Whoa, this thing just got even better. Hussi. Hussi. <laughs> I can Hussi the future. I feel like, yeah, this looks like it's going to be high refresh rate. It looks very smooth. Does it look buttery smooth for you, Joe? take the camera. Yep. I'm ready for it. You know what we've kind of been betraying? We haven't done a webcam test in a little bit, have we? <laughs> Did you just take off the lens? I think that the little lens cover came off with it. Because <laughs> look at... Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> oh, no. The lens cover came off. Sorry, guys. I'll put it back. Ain't got no glass. Look. Oh, there it is. It's back. <laughs> that's kind of goofy. I had to, that kind of came off a little too easy, guys. Yeah, that, that's a little bit of a factory flaw. I will say so they myself. They rigged it up, so they had to take the glass off. Mm, yeah. <laughs> mm. Getting wetty. Yeah. Getting wetty. I like this power button. It has like the... 
It looks like it's fancy, you know? This thing a hard drive in it though? <laughs> <laughs> this thing is like chugging. Hey, give her a minute, give, give her, her a minute. Her, let me make sure there's no hard drive in this list now. It says 512 gig NVMe Gen 4. This doesn't feel Gen 4. Two hours later. All right, guys, well, after waiting a couple of minutes, we are now in the laptop. Let me, let me click, please. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and confirm the specs. We, in fact, have the i5 12450H, eight core, 12 thread. Dual channel, Dual let's channel. go. Oh, but it is DDR4. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's all right. It's all right, not bad, not bad. Uh, 16 gigs, 3200 megahertz, DDR4, PCIe SSD. <laughs> Don't know what it is, but supposedly it's a 512 Gen 4. Yes, that is what they advertise. Wait least. a minute, I see this This formatted. I, I gotta see. Do oh, we we'll probably multiple? have the partition. Oh, yeah, yeah, buddy. Baby. So there, there's <laughs> a kind of a trend of buying these like OEMs like straight from China that come with the two partitions. I don't know if there's like certain laws or whatever with manufacturing or using Windows and then shipping it into the US, but there's always these extra partitions. And then a uh, laptop 3050 laptop, which has four gigs of dedicated VWAM. And let's go ahead and check that refresher real quick. 144, and you can do dynamic tour where it switches oh. between them when you need it. So, so far, everything is looking good on paper. We won't really know if this is legit. The screen is a little bit dim, I will say. A little dim. But we're talking about a laptop that's under $600. The last one we took a look at had the RTX 2050 in it. So, we're getting a 3050, which is better. It's just crazy to see that we even have something that's competitive from Timu so far. Are you seeing some flaws? I was wondering if, if this like glows, but like not, not, I don't think it has. Can you tell? Is there a thought behind this thing's eyes? There's no thoughts behind any of our eyes here at the Toasty Bros. <laughs> Let's get to benchmarking this laptop. All right, guys, we are playing the finals. All right, guys, so we are currently playing 1080p. We got DLSS on auto, running the medium preset. We got the FOV slightly turned down just so I can actually see what I'm doing because as you guys know, my biggest complaint with laptops is they are not easy to game on. But we're gonna see what we can do. Getting our 100 FPS, looking pretty good. It feels nice and smooth. Not bad for something from Timu. Shout out Timu. I'll have to do a comparison at the end to see if this laptop is the same price on Newegg as it is on Timu. Oh, yeah. oh, well now he's on fire We're with the laptop. We're murking. He figured out the trick, FOV. FOV, guys, that, that, that was always the problem. Don't worry, this the revolver has the range of a sniper these days. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's, 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 got, he's got the shooty thingy. Oh, oh we're all on fire. Oh, God. Oh, no. oh, he had one HP. Oh, my God, I'm being shot by two snipers. Oh, oh, okay. it was only yeah, a matter of time. There was no way for me to win that fight. They got one up top, one in front of me. Oh, no. Our numbers are dwindling. Go! <laughs> Our numbers are dwindling. Me and this heavy, though, we're, we're locking down, y'all. We're locking down. Uh. Oh, oh God! Yeah. Whoa! That is, dude. I'm like, I think I'm just aiming like slightly too high now. Oh. Uh, yeah, that ain't happening. I guess. Heavy sin, you're done. <laughs> oh, <-hoo>. yeah, yeah! <laughs> Winners! We only had one guy in the thing. What were they doing? Well, the game ran really well. This team plus laptop is looking pretty okay. Let's see what we can do in Fortnite. All right, gamers, we are now in Fortnite DX11, a limited frame rate on performance settings, far B distance and low across the board. And I will say the first thing I'm noticing on load in, well, we are GPU bound for the most part, 100% on the GPU. We were loading a lot of stuff and it was pushing the uh, CPU pretty hard, but as long as things settle out and knowing me, there's probably gonna be more than one drop, you'll be able to see uh, what the maximum frame rate is. But as long as we get to like 100 plus FPS, close to the 144, I think this is a success, especially at the sub $600 price point, which we did look at the time recording this video, you can't buy this 3050 model on Newegg. You can only buy it on Timu. So I'm wondering if Hasi, because they are the official seller on Timu, basically said, you know what, we're gonna put a laptop you can only get on Timu, the cheapest one on Timu, and then keep all the other ones for Newegg, but fulfill through Newegg, which is kind of weird. I don't know, but so far, looking promising. Honestly, I kind of, oh. I'm gonna say, I honestly couldn't figure out where the sounds are coming from. Oh, hey. <laughs> buff fight, buff fight. Yeah, yeah, spring chicken. Yeah, settling out pretty good. Up and downs uh, stutter wise, but normally when we uh, have budget laptops or budget PCs in general, once we get to a spot where we look off in the distance, the FPS drops pretty dramatically and we're not really seeing that right now. Oh, ooh, ooh. ooh they're getting shot by someone else yep. too. I feel like this is the guy from earlier. He's, he's running like him. Oh, leave me alone. Yep, here they come. <laughs> They ain't want that smoke. They ain't want that 
Yeah, they really sit me. Sit, they said this guy needs some practice. Speaking of fan, though, it's pretty quiet. It is very quiet. There is no like. I think again, this is just a basic OEM laptop. There's no crazy like power profile optimizations or anything like that. Turbo mode. Yeah, just honestly easier that way. It's like they even turning around. Is he just kind of? Okay, I kind of helped them. Hmm. Yes. Huh? I can't see. <laughs> Ooh, guys, bring that fight outside, please. <laughs> they turn, they turn, bro. Oh, this bot's waking up. Okay. They they fell back asleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where oh. are you? Oh, oh, oh no. Uh oh. Oh no. The power of Zeus. Zeus. He struck it the lightning if He's like, wow, this guy was something else. <laughs> I found the real player in the game. But hey, Fortnite, really good. This combo's working good. The laptop's running really cool. I guess we'll run some other built-in benchmarks and then wrap this video up real quick. We just got done benchmarking our Hussey laptop from Timu, and it actually did really well. I think better than we thought it was going to do, but is it better than a name brand laptop? That is the biggest question, and doing some research, RTX 3050 laptops are around this price point unless you're buying on the used market, and we did look on Newegg once again to see if this specific model was being sold on Newegg because it was shipped from Newegg, and it's not. Hey guys, well, that laptop not being on Newegg actually changed. At the time recording this video now, on the 15th of April, they are actually selling this laptop on Newegg, the Z8 laptop for $649 with a $50 promo gift card, which I'm assuming is probably a Newegg gift card. So I would say the value is still better on Timu because you're not having to do the additional promo discounts, but it is available on Newegg if you want to buy it from there as well. So we had to make sure to keep you updated on that. One thing to mention as well on the Newegg reviews, there were a couple reviews that were a little bit concerning about the quality of the laptop. Some people got their laptop without Windows installed at all, which is really strange. Ours is fine, we haven't had any issues, but buyer beware if you do wanna dive into reviews more to see if you really are comfortable buying this laptop. Newegg actually has some reviews you could trust. And to be honest, it actually performed better than we expected. We did run 3 Mark Time Spy, which is gonna stress this thing to its absolute limits. We only got a score of 5,306, which is an 11 cent per point score. Not the best bang for buck when we're talking about a laptop, again, with the keyboard, mouse, and monitor all included. That does skew the score just a little bit. And of course, in Cyberpunk, which is a very demanding game, 1080p medium settings with no upscaling, we got an average of 49 FPS. Not great, but it is pretty decent considering we do have DLSS we could work with. So all in all, I'm never really gonna recommend you shop on Timu, but in terms of all the Timu stuff that is existing and actually is on the market that you can buy today, this one was actually the best and did really well. So if you wanna look on Timu yourself, check the link down below. It's not an affiliate link or anything, but let us know, did Timu actually get a win here with this budget gaming laptop? And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did check out our other two youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros and do not forget to like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye you can pick this laptop here up at pcbros.tech with a one-year warranty new and improved and a great price it's absolutely beautiful you can buy this laptop today or if you want a normal gaming pc not a gaming laptop we have those two use code toastbros to check out you'll save two percent your next purchase see you guys later bye, -bye. save mucho dinero